Let's so record this. I think there's going to be another brother that's going to be coming on onto the line today. Sounds good. So, we, okay. And you can tell me that. Right. Let's First, and we're gonna go through. We're gonna go through this through these steps. Okay. We get sure that I record the screen. Ah, there we go. Hold on, notebook. Let me get my um, notebook so I can take notes. For a second, I thought she was somebody else. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> All, right, All right. So, as usual, you know, I got you know, you good thanks to the creator for bringing us here today. You know, we have God yeah. to truth and freedom and justice as our salvation, our God, by night and by day through His holy prophet. I mean, there we go. All right. So you know. A lot of the times, we uh, we try and figure out how to go ahead as more and start enacting a business. Not just more, but just people in general. Right. You know, like, but of course, those of us who who are embracing a different philosophy, what we're basically seeking to accomplish is how to place our spirituality or our divinity in our nationality in harmony with our commercial activity, right? right. Now, there's a lot of people who don't agree with you know the use of the social security number as a as a you know as it relates to engaging in commercial fraud, you know, national fraud, uh, human trafficking, kidnapping and, and a host of other things. But you know the other the other side to that is that we're still in, we're still being occupied by Rome until our empire starts to take back over. So in doing business with Rome, we can make it to where like our personal private information, AKA our social security numbers, or the numbers that are attached to the names that have, you know, nine digit numbers. Let's create our own nine digit number that we ourselves control. Engaging commerce, make sure that we're doing business for the purposes of uplifting humanity. And right. So, ways that we can do that is even through our social media sites. You know what I'm saying? So we, you and I, we have a project, but just in case this brother jumps on, you know, we're gonna make it very general and very broad. Okay. So okay. we're not gonna go into details about the, you know, what it is that we're gonna do with you, or right. for your project. We're just gonna run through this. And then I'm going to stop the recording. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build our project. Cool? That's fine. That's fine to me, Noble. All right. So, you know, first things first, why monetize your social media, right? Right. Number one, it's affordable. Okay? It's cheap. It's free. Everybody gets access to a social media site. Choose your social media medium. Right, your social your social media engine or your platform. I seem to be a little bit more active in regards to video shares and picture shares on Instagram. I've made attempts also with social, you know, monetizing my my Tumblr site, and I've also I also have uh, Facebook pages as well. Now, those sites are good, they're great for static sites, but that is not that essentially that's just not the end of it. You know what I'm saying? Instagram seems to be that popping site right now. It's fast. It's fast. It's the style. It's it's the trend, right? 
Right. So if you are socially attractive, one of three ways can help you generate income through your lifestyle. All right. Now, one of those three ways could be through coaching, informational products, or affiliate offers. All right. Um, we're going to briefly touch on a couple of these different uh, ways to start generating some form of business using those three mechanisms. And then we're going to go into some of the ways that we can ensure some, or, you know, analyze and assess the keys to success, right? Right. So, a uh, great way to start a business without starting a business. See what builds. You know, that's also the, the most important reason why you would monetize your social media site is because you can create almost an infinite amount of social media sites. You just got to continue to log out and log in to different accounts. But, you know... Right. Instagram make it makes it to where you can log into five different accounts. Well, excuse me, four different accounts at one time. So, right. you know, see what sticks. Um, and since this is about business, when we're discussing Instagram, it's not on this on this uh, little you know outline of what it is that we're we're going to be covering today. But right. when you go forward with monetizing your site, be sure to put your profile into the business profile settings, okay? That's very important to make sure that your business, Instagram or social media platform is in its business settings, okay? Okay. So if you're using a like page on Facebook, make sure that you're using it for the business purposes, all right? If you're using um, a business uh, or a product page on Instagram, be sure to have it on the business profile. And also with Instagram and Facebook and with Twitter, you have the option of looking at the analytics to see just where people are viewing your videos the most, right? You know, what kind of content is, is getting, is attractive to other, other viewers, okay? Right. So let's talk three ways to monetizing our, our site, right? So number one is coaching, okay? Providing some form of assistance, all right? So whatever it is that your trade or your skill or your profession or your occupation is, by all means, share that. That's what these social media platforms are for. It's for business. It's yeah. not for, to, for us to share our private lives, you know, our most detailed and intimate things. Right. But by all means, if that's your niche, you know, sharing, sharing, you know, the, the most vulnerable sides to your life, by all means, engage in it. Be healthy, okay. Right. Um, other other opportunity for coaching include very simple trendy things like weight loss products, uh, health and wellness products, sexual support products, nutritional supplementation products. Um, you know, those things can, can be very, very lucrative as far as coaching goes, you know, like if you have, if you're an author, perhaps that's where people start coaching is for you to coach through your, through platforms, you know, where you're doing one-on-one meetings and or just assisting other people with, you know, aspiring and, and accomplishing and acquiring their, their highest goal, you know? So right. that's what you need. All right. Other things that you can be looking into is, like I said, with a lot of those supplementational products, you also have the capacity to share products that are information based, okay? Um, right. Such as, I have a product that I'm not going to necessarily endorse just yet, but I got a new piece of software. That I'm excited to, to, to run. Okay. Okay. So, you know, a little business. Information. Okay. I see. I see. Business information, important. you know. And, right. and so, like, you know, even, even if you're not big on Facebook or if you're not into Instagram because you, you don't feel that you have enough time to, to really give your audience the kind of information that they need, by all means, jump onto YouTube. All right. You know, right. check out their uh, creative space uh, information on how to monetize your YouTube channel. And by all means, you know, like become a video blogger, you know. Right. 
Right. Start building, you know, video blogging is another form of journalism. It's still information, right? So, like, that's another form of product, you know, news media, you know, uh, you know, being that, that mouthpiece to the street. It's another way. Right, of right. Media, you know, as being uh, selling products that are information based, okay? So, other things to take into consideration is if you don't have a product of your own, you could always go the route of marketing and endorsing products that you do believe in in the form of affiliate products, all right, or affiliate offers. Products uh, that might that you might have purchased on eBay or products that you that you purchased on Amazon. Perhaps you know you're just a consumer, but there are other people who are always looking for reviews as to how great a product is. Like perfect example, this product that I just picked up today. Um, I was looking on YouTube to see if there was a, uh, a review for this type of product. And, right. you know, to my misfortune, there is no review on this product. But to my fortune, you that's cannot. a niche that's, you know, needed to be fulfilled. So, right. you know, being able to assess and see what it is that you, you're good at or what it is that's available to you, by all means, is a great way to move forward on that. All right. Um, now, other reasons why, and it's not up here on this spot, on this uh, outline, but other reasons why we might consider monetizing the social media site is because this essentially makes you a 1099 employee, a miscellaneous employee for other businesses that, that have huge manufacturing sites, you know, huge uh, product lines, but nobody to endorse their products, right? They're looking for people to pay just to, to, to endorse their products because by, by all means, um, advertisements, yeah, they work, but word of mouth advertisement beats all other forms of advertisement any, any given day of the week, you know? If right. you're looking for, you know, um, a product review, you're usually getting it still through some form of word of mouth. If not, then you go to your YouTube or your Google sources, right? And that's correct. Right. You can always look at your Google search drives and your Amazon search drives to, to see just what kind of products are, you know, you might want to endorse or coach people with or inform people about, you know? Wow. So let's get into the project, okay? So some of the, we're going to talk about nine keys to ensuring that your social media site functions and is attractive to potential consumers, right, and right. repeat clients. So, bonus tip is email, okay? You need to have an email address that is akin to the name of your product or the service that you offer. So, if you're offering information, you know, like, or you're a blogger, you know, or you're a, an athlete or a health and wellness coach, you know, like something towards what it is that your professional, your service, or your product should be included in your email. In fact, if the name of your business is what your product is going to be, by all means, your email should be the name of your business at more than likely gmail.com. You can go ahead and do a Yahoo or an AOL or any of these other forms. However, Google also has something called Google Voice. If you're not familiar with that, there are plenty of YouTube videos you can check out on what Google Voice is and how to use Google Voice with Google Hangouts, okay? And basically use your carrier phone as a mail forwarding number from your business related owner. That'll help you out in the future when it comes time to get a 401 listing, when it's also time to register your business for EIN purposes. Uh, if you decide to go, you know, this project seems to work out for you. It's right. like, hey, I'm making way too much money on the social security as an independent contractor. Maybe I want to put a corporation together to let that corporation take some of the heat, you know, or just right. like and start paying myself out, you know, for just my my lot living expenses, and then just make sure that the rest of the money goes to the business purposes, you know, transportation, uniforms, you know, grooming, and 
you know, luncheons, you know, that type of thing. Business you know? meetings. Business meetings, you know, educational uh, project, projects and products that you need to further your business endeavor, right? So by all means, get the email with the business name or the product name in the email. If the, the email name is taken, that's also a good and sure sign that the business name may also be taken. So you might want to look into your state's uh, business or fictitious name registry just to see if the potential name of the business you're thinking about is already taken. That way you're not just like, you know, getting an email address that's already assigned to another company. Because Lord knows that sucks. You know, then you're marketing and advertising for somebody else's business. But if that is your niche, marketing, and, you know, an affiliate product, or an affiliate offer for another company, maybe you might want to like specify that you are a unique individual with their product as a as a affiliate product. You know, an affiliate. Right. Because my product. next question was going to be if, let's say, you're just an affiliate um, marketer, and you just wanted to market that product, how would you just go about making an affiliate email or when you create a corporation for that, would you do it as an affiliate or how would you go about oh, that? Oh yes, that's an excellent question. I would recommend creating an affiliate email. Okay, okay. so um, the name of your company. Or, or the company I'm promoting or re yes. representing, yes. You know, with your name still attached into that corporation you know or you know or your brand something something that is unique to your character should also right. be included in the name of the business email you know because if you have um you know exo cafe and sons as the the product that you're selling right then you you might want to be exo cafe and sons and me or Exo Cafe and Sons, Florida, right, Chicago, Los Angeles, Memphis, wherever, Mississippi, you know, any of those places, you might want to also include that into the email name as well, all right? Um, and once again, like, it's just really great to have, like, for the purposes of just separating a business phone number from your personal phone number. You know, a right. business email from your personal email. email. On, a, on an Instagram business account, you have the capacity to put the email and the business phone number on the profile so people can get straight into contact with you if, they want, if they're in need of your service or your product. So bonus tips, you definitely want to have those, okay? If you're right. into logos and images, Let's talk about images, right? You have a product that you're selling or you have a service that you're selling. Perhaps you just need to take a clean picture of yourself as an endorsement to your service or you need to take a clean picture and image of the product that you're going to, going to be endorsing, all right? Right. And you might want to make it something that's viral, you know, something that's going to be repostable, okay? Like brandable. You know, other people are gonna are gonna hit that like button. You know, that re reply, that share button, that comment button, that like button. All right, be sure to have those types of things in there. All right, so have a logo with your monetized link in the bio. Your bio, in regards to Instagram, is a is a very key thing. You can put your your uh, landing page or your website page link into your bio as well as you know like you you, you want to aim for about 20 different hashtags in your bio link all right so like all the right. hashtags that are unique to you, your service your product your goods or your endorsement all you you want you want to have those in your caption okay so like the 20 be best 20 best things that will go with your product or whatever it is that you're serving that relates to it absolutely okay now this is where it comes in it becomes an important thing for us to do some form of some more information gathering but sometimes right. we don't know what it is that we need until it, we start going through the through the process you know so for right. those of you who who might be watching us at a later date in time you're taking notes be sure to you know 
study the competition, study the, the brands that you that you like, you know, study the, the information that you're you're attracted to and familiarize yourself with the, the hashtags with the uh, with the, the big rankers, you know, or the, the, the top leaders in those niche groups and Correct. mimic or mirror their success. You know, I once heard if you want to be successful mirror those who have already been successful you know reflect their activity you know replicate their their actions all right we lost the view of it i'm sure that they're going to be back so let me up oh, there we go we got i'm just about to pause it so you want to mimic those who have already been successful in your niche in your product in your informational endorsement area okay follow those big rankers okay find them Get in their DM boxes, you know, get close to them, you know, look at their captions, replicate their actions. Study you know, the game. Study the game, you know, and by all means, there's nothing wrong with, with, with uh, you know, imitation, but make it your own. You know, right. just, just keep repo uh, reposting their content, all right? Now, customize. Absolutely. Now, um, initially, when we're starting out with Instagram and with um, Facebook and Twitter and all these other uh, different social media platforms, we have no followers, right? Before you get any followers, before you start looking to follow anybody, it's important that you get at least nine squares or postings done. So that way, there's some type of content. You want to fill the content in your social media site before you start liking and following and commenting on other people's uh, sites, all right? And it yeah. is because if they, when they look to see who it is that's following them or who's liking or who's commenting on their page, you know, the social media etiquette is to like for like, follow for follow. Right. So give them something to like, give them something to follow, give them something to comment on, all right? So if you have... Uh, a nice viral image, even if it's one, you, you have the capacity to do that one square picture that breaks it down into nine different images. And oh, okay. That's a great way to just start out with, you know, your, your, your initial six to nine different postings, you know, filling up the content so that way you start getting something going, you know. So whatever your, your brandable product is, whatever your brandable product is, whatever your good is, be able to, to endorse that six times, give the people something to feel on, right? Um, and number three, start following people. After you have your, your content pre-made, start following people, okay? Uh, aim to 100 people a day, okay? And don't worry about this because at some point when you start generating your followers, you can start cleaning house. So the people who aren't following you back, if they're not people of like great interest to you, let them go. Okay. You know? And for the people who are liking your content, who are following your content, who are commenting on your content, be sure to follow them, them back. Comment on their pages. You know, like for like, follow for follow. Um, you know, and then look into their to their posts, find their highest posting, and then consider a repost. You know, because it's viral content. Okay? Right. So you want to aim for likes as well. Point number four, aiming for likes. We want to do this for the love. We don't do this for the likes. But, right, right, right. But in this instance, we're doing this for the likes as well. Okay? Right. Because the likes ensure us being able to brand and spread our brand and, and network. Okay? So... Be sure to aim for something in a range of like if for as many followers as you're, you're, you're hitting up, get equal or greater likes. You know, right. you can like more photos, you don't have to follow everybody. You can like a hell of a lot of um, photos, a lot of videos, but you don't have to follow everybody, you know. Right. But you liking and commenting on other people's you know information or their products, and then sliding your information into the DM box. You know, with your affiliate link that's in your bio attached to it, you know, like, hey, that's a good way to network, okay? So, 
on those photos that you're liking, you know, find some viral images and be sure to repost. You know what I'm saying? Because, and when you're reposting, repost 20. Once again, go with those, that 20 hashtags because anytime someone clicks on a hashtag, what happens is, is that each hashtag also has like a following group, right? Mm. So every time you use that hashtag, when someone checks the hashtag, your image could be at the top of the hashtag search. So okay. if you're using the, the same uh, repetitive hashtags, you know, like following certain repetitions and, and cycles of posting will help to ensure that your posts are always at the top of the searchable list, you know? Okay, so um, also post them on stories and on your, your live feed. Okay, because right. it gives people an opportunity to look at you being active, and it also gives them an opportunity to engage us directly. Okay, so you know, and also when you're posting on your stories, you can also include those those hashtags. Those hashtags are a big thing. You know, hashtags are a major thing. They're major right. Because I didn't know. I didn't know how important they were. To be honest, I, that's why I never really used them. I'm just. Oh, you know, yes. What is it really for? You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when, I mean, like when you when you um when you look at certain people's hashtags, sometimes you see what looks like a, a repetition or a repeat right. hashtag, but it, sometimes it's just an abbreviation. You know. Uh, uh, so like you know here in Canada, you'll see some people like MIA. And then you'll see them put Miami. Like they don't even put like a space between the, the hashtags. Basically, the, the hashtag acts as a, as a code to ignore the, the comment. Mm. So it it kind of increases your um, what's the word I'm looking for? It increases your visibility through the hashtag as well as through the video searches. Okay. Right. So, once again, using those hashtags, use those hashtags to network with bigger accounts. Sometimes those, those bigger accounts are using specialized hashtags. You might want to repeat, slide in their DM, use the, mix their hashtag into a, a group of your hashtags and let them see it. You know, that way you get interested and curious to check on your page. You know? mm, yeah. I see the point. I see the point. Yeah, you know, like we're just, we're fishing, you know what I'm saying? But that's also another way of using number eight, use viral content to drive mass engagements to your content pages, okay? So, like what, you, what you're doing, again, with, the, with your images, your videos, your story, your live feeds, it, and your hashtags, is you're giving them massive amounts of content for them to check out for them to continuously you know feel engaged for them to, to, to look pick and, and grab up you know right so in conclusion the final thing that i want to say is if you have a product if you have a service if you have a good you know or you have a book or you, you know with your information you have to give something away give away a tutorial give away a free class you know, give away something so that way people have a call to action. Hey, right. If you like my content, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave a message in the comment box. You know what I'm saying? Hit the bell if you like what you're hearing. You know, all that helps me. You know, it helps push and further the information that we're sharing here. And it also helps you know, with my views because, hey, let's be real. If you're watching this on Instagram at a later time, or excuse me, not Instagram, but YouTube at a later time, you know, every time you watch this, you're increasing my views, and YouTube pays the content creators a little small fee for their monetizable content. So, help me get to the monetized mark. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to comment. Even if you don't like the comment, tell me. If you don't like the content, tell me that I suck. It's okay. Say something. You know, say something. You know, leave your link in the in the description box so that way I know where to go find something better. You know, I'll repost your information. If you like. Engage. You know, so you know we're gonna leave it at that, and this is where we're gonna stop it for all the ladies and gentlemen and the children of all ages.
you know? Right. Hit the, hit the box, hit the bar, hit the bell, comment. We out here, okay? Stop in the share, because we're going to continue this video. So here we are. All right. That, that was a very...